enormity of the west there are still vast and virtually unexplored regions bleak and desolate where no human ever goes and no life is ever seen it is as though the land had been posted by god it is in these lonely areas of the impenetrable forest and dark shadows that the Gila monster still lives. How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. Be charging you with an entertainment tank. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Spook. Hi, Kev. Hey, uh, how are the new parts on the bomb? Liz, I thought we'd be the last ones here. Yeah, they're probably out spooking around somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you know. Maybe they broke down. Not in his heap. I worked on it myself. <laughs> oh, oh, that, it too cool. that wouldn't make any difference if he goofed a speed shift or something. Yeah, and that squirrel is just the one that could do it. Hey, <laughs> you got it. Oh, wonderful. What kept you so long, Lisa? Oh, Mr. Wheeler smoked two cigars at the table after dinner. And I could not get out of the dishes until he was through. <laughs> what time is that, Lee? <laughs> Pa did not come home for dinner. That's why his father was so upset. There's old man Harris. Man, that fellow has a jewel of a car. Well, luck, man. Yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs> Hey! Hello, hi, Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, hey. hello, Fisherman. You want to sell that deuce? Why well, you fellas always after me to buy my car? That 32 is the ideal stock to convert to a bomb. Buying a car, son, is just like getting married or going to New York City. Everybody ought to do it once, but nobody ought to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can get you a good price on that. Paid six hundred and ninety-five dollars for that car twenty-six years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last month, I turned down a hundred for it. When it gets back up to six ninety-five again, I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you hey, Spook. 
Uh, give me a snort of that there soda bar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gang, you know, this will be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have drive-ins in France, too. Yeah? Yes, I went twice with my brother on his motor scooter. <laughs> oh, on a motor scooter. Now, that's my idea of absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Don't be too late. We're going to pull on out. Hey, Chase. If the road's clear, I'll drag you to Bartonell's Corner. Oh, I can't. I'm driving barefoot. You still running on that old rubber? Yeah. Hey, Spook, when Pat and Liz get here, will you tell them that we went to the drive-in and for them to catch up? Thank you. We sure will. And I'll give you 150 bucks. You're talking like my foot's asleep. <laughs> Who do you think he's playing with, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, what's the trouble, Mr. Wheeler? Pat didn't come home last night. He didn't? No, evidently was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Oh? I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. There weren't any wrecks reported last night. Your son, Pat, he's about 19, isn't he? That's right. <laughs> Just a year older than I was when I got married. You think they eloped? He wouldn't dare. I didn't say that. But if they were out together all night, you better hope they have. This is a missing persons report, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, I'll send in an APB on both of them and the car. I don't think it'll do much good if they went off to get married. They'd already be across the state line. Well, if he got married, I'll wring his neck. If you ask me, it's that Chase Winston. He's older than the others. Sets them all wrong. Why, he's got more influence on Pat than I have. Chase Winstead does more about keeping them in line than getting them in trouble than I know. He's supported his mother and sister ever since his dad died on one of your drill rigs. Your son can take a page out of his book, Mr. Wheeler. When I get through with my son, he won't have a book left. Now you locate him or I'll have your job. If you want to be the only peace officer in 10,000 square miles and 1,000 miles of road, you're welcome to it. I'll do everything I can to locate both of them, Mr. Wheeler. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, sir. Got a new set of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That clunker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. Oh, I was just kidding. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. Tony bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, <laughs> you'd choke it off so I could never catch you. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. We'll make a deal. Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. Oh. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Were they in any kind of trouble? What do you mean? You know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... No, not like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? <sighs> yeah, some. Like how much? 
Well, he was talking about getting a new blower and a mill. That's about 500 bucks. Where did he get that kind of money? He saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? None. He's afraid his dad would find out. He could have been saving it to get married, couldn't he? It's his money. I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. But you know, if he eloped, his old man had put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. Pat's the only one of the gang I couldn't slow down. Did you check the hospitals? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the Wheelcats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. No dragon. Okay, I'll tell them. If you get any postcards from those two, let me know. Hello, Sheriff. I don't have any word for you, Miss Humphreys. She's a good girl, Sheriff. I ain't worried. How come you drove around the truck all night then? You don't think she might have eloped, do you? Could be. She's pretty close mouthed about her affairs. More the likes of Wheeler. Ain't marrying our kind of folks. You don't have a phone, so I just dropped around to let you know I'm doing everything I can. We know that, Sheriff, and we sure do appreciate it. Sorry, Elizabeth, put you to so much trouble. It's never any trouble looking after kids. Let me know if I can help, Sheriff. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, Sheriff. Goodbye. We have got to quit worrying this way. We've got to trust in the Lord. We've got to pray. Morris. Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. OK, go ahead. OK. Hi, Chase. Hi. Did you get that diesel tractor fixed? Yeah, she's all set. Good. My boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. The stuff heavy? I'll help you unload. No, not heavy. It's hot. Wheeler's sinking another oil well, and he's afraid of fire when he comes in. There's four quarts of nitroglycerin out there in that cab. He wants us to keep it out back in the storehouse. You know, last winter, when number 21 came in, I made $100 with that stuff. Dad showed me how to use it. It's not so bad, as long as it doesn't get nervous. Well, I'm sorry I was so late getting back. But with that cargo, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Oh, it's not so dangerous as long as it's in a nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Holy smoke. You're lucky to be standing here talking about it. I'll put it in the shed. Much action this afternoon? Um, Sheriff got a new patrol car. We'll get a tune-up job out of that. Is that nitro safe out there? Well, if it decides to blow, it's not safe anywhere. I'll get it. That's not our ring. No, it's the Sheriff's. If there's been a wreck, I get a tow job out of it. I also have a deal with the ambulance if someone's hurt. <laughs> you work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I have to. Hello, Sheriff. Yes? About 12 miles out beyond the Red Schoolhouse, a car has run into the ditch. Oh? Yeah, it's a pretty bad wreck. What kind of a car? Well, it's a sedan, a Pontiac, I believe. Someone could have been hurt pretty bad. Maybe she'd get out there pretty quick. Uh, did you stop and investigate? There's been a wreck 12 miles out of town. Where's the wrecker? Home. I used the A-frame to build a doggone rock garden. Look, you take your car and keep the city wreckers off. I'll get our wrecker and follow you.
wondered who was on that party line a while ago. Well, it cost me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. This is a pretty good one. Yeah. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Yeah. No digs in the macadam, either. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Let's take a look around. I've already looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. No, they'd have said something. Well, then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around, don't want to fill out the reports. So, what do you do now? Well, I'll take the license number and engine number, call headquarters, maybe they've got a line on them. Chase, how are your headlights? Fine, just fine. Both of them burning? How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? Twice. But the first time it was just a suggestion. Seal beam only cost $4. Well, I've had some unexpected expenses. Oh? Missy? Yeah, the doctor said she'd be able to start walking again pretty soon and took all the money I had to make a part down payment on her braces. You know, I think this is a complete washout. You probably got a screwdriver. I don't think the insurance company had missed one of those headlamps. was stolen out of state and the plates were stolen in state. So whoever stole it, it beat it, hurt or not, as long as they could navigate. Well, is there anything else I can do here, Sheriff? If not, I'll get this on back to the garage. No, go ahead. Chase, will you give me a hand? I want to take some pictures of those skid marks. You stand by them for a scale. Sure, glad to, Sheriff. Good. Trouble, Chase? I don't know, Sheriff. Take a look. It was just sitting here. Probably fell off of a car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in a bush. Now, as thin as that imitation leather is, even a bush should take some of it off. Was it just like that when you found it? Yeah, straight up. Probably belonged to some hitchhiker. Or it might have belonged to the fellow that stole that car and wrecked it. Say, look at this. A half a pack of cigarettes, one unlit. Mm. 
That suitcase don't belong to any car thief. He was around here too long. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. Bed. I got your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Wheeler, he became very angry. He said if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. He said it's immoral for me to go out with you. What's immoral about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chase. You won't have to, honey. You think it's your fault that Pat ran away? Ling, well, think whatever he wants to think. Shouldn't take it out on you. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside. And look, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Seven to a box, no corners. I'm a round house. Sorry, I asked, Mr. Uh, Smith. Horatio Alger Smith. Sorry, I asked that, too. How'd you get in the ditch? You fall asleep? Oh, no, no, no. There was, there was this big pink and black thing drove right in front of me. It had stripes this wide. Sure, sure. Look, you come up and sit in my truck. And I'll get your car out. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. Who knows? Maybe we can. Hey, man, you can't drive this car. Fender's cutting the wheel. Sure, I can. The motor works, see? But thanks for everything, Dad. You're a cotton picking friend. Okay, just a second. I'll get out of the way. What is it? Now move over, Dad. I want to pass. What is it now? I think you better give me a tow, Dad. The steering wheel won't work. Okay. You take a nap. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's a rock and roll and tippy toe and never know and always blowing baby. My baby, she swings and sings and swings whenever I bring her things. She swings and sings and swings for little diamond rings. <laughs> <laughs> 
Swing and sing and bells are ring and happy playing and plays are ring and baby. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she swings and sings and swings whenever I bring her things. A rock and roll and tippy toe and ever know and always glow and swing and sing and bells are ring and happy playing plays are ring and baby. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. Like, man, guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that. For what? For feeling so doggone good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here, anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? As a matter of fact, I remember very, very little. You said somebody ran you into the ditch, but I didn't see any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed, anyway? I carried you in there, and I sat on you till you fell asleep. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. Well, look, I really appreciate it. Uh, Chase Winstead. Chase. And I, uh, by golly, how much I owe you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. Want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? No, I don't think so. I'll uh, get that done when I get back to the city. Here, have some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks. <laughs> Dad, you go to school? Well, sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Well, look, I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? All right, will do. OK. On, oh, by the way. Buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Thank you. Steamroller Smith, the disc jockey. Mr. Smith! Two twenties. How about that? Howdy, son. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Oh, I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year. And it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. Yeah, I remember that. Well, look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. I was hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. Uh, can I have your help in another matter? Sure, what? You remember how those skid marks just went at right angles to the direction the car was traveling? That's right, they did. Headquarters think I'm nuts. Well, then they're nuts. Didn't, didn't you send them that picture? Well, I'm not the world's greatest photographer. Pictures didn't come out. Can't see the skid marks on the blacktop. Well, that's what happened. I even wiped up the rubber dust with my fingers. You might have to sign a statement to that effect for me. You got it. Look, you can even see the bald spots on the tires where they went sideways. At... Yeah, that's the spot, all right. But there's another thing that puzzles me. Yeah, what? How those tires got off of that car and almost on yours. Well, look, on, on this wreck, they'd rot. And on my, on my rod, they could prevent a blowout, maybe even an accident. Well, take good care of them in case the owner shows up. Right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. Today. We've covered half the roads in this county. Yeah. How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. 
We'll start from here and you come from the other end. Yeah. All right. Right. down around here. Look at that. What is it, Shay? Looks like an animal of some sort drug something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, could be anything, even a mountain lion. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's bitter. Must have an awful lot of mineral in it. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a breather first. Chet, I, I don't like this place. Let's go back. Are you afraid? Now, you come on over here with me and sit in the shade and I'll let this go. Bottom of the wash. Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. Uh, drive me back to my car and I'll bring up the record. Probably just a little rock slide. For some reason, this place gives me the creeps. It always has. Lisa! Turn the motor on. The winch is already engaged. Now, if I yell, turn the key off. Okay.
You did fine, honey. A little beat up, but it'll do all right. Yeah. We'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Okay, let's go, Jenny. Where did you find it? By the reservoir and William's wash. They weren't in it. No sign of blood or anything. You know, I think they were thrown clear. Did you search the area? Yeah, Gordy went down the ravine for about a mile and... Oh, we looked beyond the wreck for a couple of hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. This thing's been around just about the same as that sedan. Like it had been hit with a 10-ton rubber mallet. It's a pretty rough trip down that cliff that could have done it. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You know, I've been thinking, if, if Liz and Pat had have eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car, because old man Wheeler would have it traced right off. Why, well, maybe he stored it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Yeah, if it was stolen and somebody parked it there, well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Possibility makes some sense, though. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Gosh, I wish you boys had called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. I'm sorry, Sheriff. The hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we found them there. He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Where's Mr. Compton? Oh, he went down the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm gonna close up. I'll see you later. Just a minute, not so fast there. What for? <laughs> Did you ever play football? With the Green Bay Packers. Hi. <laughs> oh, please, put me down. No, not till you tell me what's going on. All right, if you close your eyes. All right, I don't know what's happening, but they're closed. Keep them closed. They're closed. This is silly. Now, open. Look what Lisa got me. Stay there, Chase. Watch. So stay there, Chase. I can get up. Stay there. Wonderful baby, just wonderful. I've been practicing all afternoon, ever since Lisa brought the braces over. And I walked all the way, twice. And I want to do it right for you. <laughs> Would you like to hear a song? And 
there was a mushroom, sad little mushroom. And there was a meadow, ready to cry. And there was a sparrow, gray little sparrow. And there was an eagle, silent and high. And the Lord said, laugh, children laugh. The Lord said, laugh, children laugh. The Lord said, laugh, children laugh. The Lord said, laugh, laugh, laugh. Then the Lord, he said, I created for you a world of joy from out of the blue. And all that is left to complete the joy, just the laugh of a girl and boy. Yay, 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 yay. And there was a garden, beautiful garden, held in the arms of a world without joy. And then there was laughter, wonderful laughter, for he created a girl and a boy. And the Lord said, oh, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said, 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 laugh. Important, isn't it, Chase? Oh, it sure is. And you know, I never felt any more like laughing than I do right now. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you, really? Honest, but you know, you're gonna have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed if it takes a long time, okay? That's enough for one day, Missy. It's your bedtime. Do I have to, Chase? You sure do. Show me how you can walk. Good night, Lisa. That was a wonderful thing for you to do, Lisa. I wanted to. Now you're broke, aren't you? I was going to pick him up in the morning. I know. When you showed me that money, I was afraid you'd get there first. Well, I'm still going to pay you for it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hello. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Well, you should have been back an hour ago. No. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Compton. All right. But at the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. What is it, Chis? It's a wreck, an oil truck. It could be Mr. Compton. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. Here he comes now, Sheriff. Come on. Wait a minute, Sheriff. You've got a sore foot. Oh, no. Take my model A. She's all shiny and bright. Now we'll take my old. car. Come on, Harris. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it, but I sure heard about it. Can I open this thing up? Yeah, go ahead. and crawl away. Let's look around. Come on, Harris. Okay. Compton! Mr. Compton! 
Find anything, Sheriff? Well, let's go over this again. How did you get into the act? I told you once. Well, tell me again. Well, I was barreling along in my Model A. She don't look like much now, but she used a beauty when I first the got The accident. Still go, though. Get up to 60. The accident. Yeah. Just the accident. Well, I'll tell you. I wish you would. This feller seen the headlights coming up the grade towards him, and all of a sudden they come as to going over and over, and then blew it. Blew it! She blew up. Well, he seen somebody is in a mite of trouble, so uh, he come in the store talking about it. That's when I offered to call you. Did you get the name of the witness? No. Did he see anything else? No. Do you want to wait in the car for us? No. Well, you're going to anyway. Okay, Sheriff, okay. Like you say, always obey the law. Do that, do that. Somebody tells you no, somebody... Any luck, Chase? No, nothing. Pat and Liz might have eloped, but Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No, I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? No, none that I can think of. You would have no reason to know about this, but there's been a lot of livestock missing lately. One here, one there. That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. And you think there's a tie-up? I don't know. What we need is a criminal investigator, and headquarters won't send one down here. Well, maybe they will now. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice those skid marks? Just like the others, straight across the road. If it had been hit by another vehicle, the paint would be knocked off. What batters a car around like it was a toy? How's the barn coming along with the party? All right. Ought to be done in about an hour or so. Say, you and Chase sure got off light. You took off this morning. You've just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. Did you get the high five set up? Yeah. Well, you steamboats and dreamboats, that's that steamroller on another session of the old steamroller here at KILT. Now, if any of you round rocks get lonesome for my voice, I'll be emceeing a platter party tonight out at Hargit Hayes Barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flatten you. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day, getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that guy? You sure had a busy day. Getting that paint job and Steamroller Smith. Now, how'd you guys find out about Steamroller Smith? We well, just said so on his program. Said it right out over the network. Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, come on, don't spread it around, huh? How are the preparations coming? Oh, that'll be finished about 45 minutes. The gang won't start arriving from east until 9.30. We're under the wire with time to spare. No sweat. I hate the ground you walk on, little darling, for all them things that you have did to me. Oh, you nag me till you whore, so I'm a suing for divorce. Little darling, I'll forget your memory. <laughs> I grab, it's good.
that's the same story the man down here told me. Something real strange must have happened down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll be handy if you want him. Right. Sit down, Harris. You be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? No, that's not in my territory. Headquarters already have a report. The troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in my model A. Bought it at 32 for six. Just a minute, just a minute. I ask you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. Just the facts about the wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in the wreck. Then I turn around and come back down here and told you about it. Give me your keys, Harris. Keys? Our keys? What for? For spinning a yarn like that and driving while drunk. I demand a sober test. That does it. Go lock yourself up. I demand a sober test because I ain't been drinking. Well, at least I'm not heavy. Whatever you think's right. Put your way in the cell. Put your way. Well, you can't win them all, can you, Sheriff? You can call your wife if you want to, Harris. Why? <laughs> Are you crazy, Sheriff? My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's hey. a rock and roll. Hey, you gonna leave home? I'm going to spend the night with the Blackwells. Mommy said it was all right. Will you take me over? Well, I don't know, Missy. Gosh, that's two or three miles out of my way. And... Oh, sure, we will. James, what in the world have you done to that car of yours? It's a new fuel mixture. You like it? I just barely touched the gas pedal and the back wheel started to spin. Why, I was two blocks down the road before I even knew I'd left home. Come on, Mom, I'm just trying to make a hot rodder out of you. I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. The what? Book on reptiles. Yeah, I guess I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. I have to take Missy over by the Blackwells. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? Well, now I'm gonna tell you something you don't know. I've been talking to a zoologist. And the Gila monster's size is controlled, uh, like everything else, by a sort of a thyroid or pituitary gland. Sometimes a change in diet can throw the balance all out of whack. Either the cells break down too fast or build up too slow. And this upset makes either Runts are giants on them. Good, but what's that mean to me? Oh, I'm coming to that. The zoologist also told me about a, a doctor who just found the bones of some huge animals down in Tanganyika. And the theory was that uh, they lived in kind of river delta country, and certain salts had washed into the valley, been absorbed by the plants, and then transferred to the animals, causing them to be giants. Hmm. Well, I, yeah, I know. I probably sound a little bit like Harris, but yeah. let me tell the whole thing in my own words. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother. Grew up to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? No. Gila monster footprints? Yeah, a big one, about the size of a bus. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, I don't know. 
But Harris saw it, and some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the bridge over Wilson's Wash. When? Tonight, about an hour ago. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. And you can't always believe what Harris said. A Gila monster. Pink and black stripes. You know, I towed a guy in the other day, and he said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. You know, if they could have gotten that big, they could have knocked Mr. Compton's truck off that road. They could have gotten him. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. It operates in and around the wash. And troopers have got that staked off for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. Try and forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy? for you. We got the king of the DJs. Oh. Now, you, now you've all heard him on his platter show on KILT. Oh. That's right. Oh. Oh. Okay, your old dad here has some small words and some great records. I want you to have a ball tonight. Let's begin with one of the top kilt survey songs. What do you say now? Let's everybody dance. Here we go. Let's go, everybody. mind telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No. Well, I have. I talked to a trooper about my son's car. He said it shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made and it had been photographed. This wasn't done, was it, Sheriff? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. You didn't put that in your report, did you, Sheriff? Of course you didn't, and I'll tell you why. You were protecting that Chase Winston. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend, probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler, even yours. But, Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Do you believe them? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. Well, why not? There have been giants before. That's true. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Now, if that is the case, my son's dead. So is Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat, but Compton's death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. His truck was found only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Well, 
Now, come out here. I want to show you something else. Now, something may have hit this car, but it didn't take the tires off. And where did those new white sidewalls on Chase Winston's hot rod come from? Here, I guess. There was a tow in charge against he us. He presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime? Perhaps. That's thievery, destroying evidence and obstructing justice. Now, your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go along to make sure that it's done. A fellow dropped in over KILT the other day and played me a great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you now and see what you think about it. By the way, the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> but you got to pay your own way over there and back. Oh. Okay. Here it is now. See what you think of it. I'll never promise not to stray Cause they find me to that way Hey, great No, they find me to that way <laughs> But it's been made in hard design Well, I can give you gold and fine Yes, I can give you gold and fine feathers yet. I'm going to play the rest of it. How do you like it? <laughs> okay, who's the singer? Elvis, one of the Everly. Bill Darnell, Kate Smith. Oh, oh. Very funny, but you lose. Look, the same guy you hear singing on the record also wrote the song. Now, now, who is it? Does anybody know? Well, I don't know. Who is it? Okay, okay, okay. It's going to come out on records in a couple of months, and you can find his name on the label. Oh, oh no, no, no. did it. You're oh, right. You did it, Chase. Why didn't you say something? You didn't tell us. Well, I didn't know there was anything I'd want to admit to. Oh. Oh. Come on up here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Chase, you're a treat. Come on. All right. Okay, hold it. Hold it. All right, everybody. Also over at the station the other day, Chase played me another little song. It's kind of different from this one. But I imagine with a little coaxing, you know, by hitting your hands together like this, he might give you a little preview of it. What do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And the Lord said, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children Just a 
the Lord, he said, I've created for you a world of joy from out of the blue. <laughs> to stop that thing. I don't know, but I'm going down to the train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. We know you're going to have to give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Where are we going? Storage shed. I've got an idea that might work. You've been after this. Now you've got it. You're deputized. Listen, kids, Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. The sheriff says this is a place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, we're oh. leaving. Oh. and wait inside the office till I get back. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Chess. I'm going to help. Do you know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right, now take these and hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop them. Now hold those. generally travel in a straight line. Good Lord, he's hit the Blackwell home. That's where Missy is. Mrs. Blackwell! Nitro, we're cutting across. Keep that stuff still. Do you want to blow us up? There they are. There is Missy. Missy. It's all right, Missy. It's all right. Lisa, get Missy and hold her down. And both of you lie flat.
you all right? I was scared, Chase. Oh, that's okay, honey. I tore my new dress. Oh, we can't get you a new dress. Oh, a hundred dresses. Everybody all right? Yeah. On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. What did you hit him with? My brand new 100% completed hot rod. You'd have had to start in the next county to get up enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin riding with you. You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, sir. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy your new one. Did you see it? I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. I thought I told you to keep those kids up at the barn. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Do you realize what would have happened if that thing had turned back? Same thing that happened to Pat. Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. Since Compton's gone, I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Would you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning.